Good morning. Welcome to Live with Joan. And uh, is any somebody just popped up? Um, okay. Anyway, I'm here. I don't know what that is. It just popped up. Told me to get notified about something. Um, my ignore the notifications. Okay. Um, so I'm here by myself today. Um, Claudia had to stay home, but Claudia's on the iPad. Here's Claudia. Say hi, Claudia. Hi, everybody. So Claudia's here. And um, this way I can ignore the notifications as she just told me to do. Who's the boss here anyway? Um, anyway, uh, so I'm ignoring the notifications and I'm just going to sit here we would had something planned, but we obviously didn't follow through with it. We will do it next week. It's going to be very cool. And we still have to follow up on doing the um, field trip. Anyway, um, so we, um, I'm going to just do some readings, and that will be how we do today. Um, how do I get rid of this notification thing? There, like that. I mean like that. Uh, okay. So it's a, it's a very warm day here in um, Santa Clarita. It's not, I mean, it's not too warm. It's warm-ish. It's relative to um, what it could be, what it was last week. It's actually really nice. Um, I've already gone on a dog hike. I got all three of my horses going. So it's been a very good morning here. And as we all know, I run on caffeine, horses, and cuss words. And I got a meditation in. So it's a very good morning. Um, okay, wow. All of a sudden, all the te all the, I was wondering why no one had commented, and I clicked something, and now there's a bunch of comments. So let me welcome everybody. Okay, good. Because I was just wow, chatting away. People are really quiet today. <laughs> yeah. I was going to keep talking. I know. Okay. That was funny. Okay, so Chris Hoden says good morning. Good morning. Chris. Chris is about to join the big program today. Yay! Yay! Um, you should see Claudia's doing this. Yes! Yes, yes. Oh. And and in classes we often do, as you know, Chris, silent oh, clapping. Can't yeah. They can't I'm doing this. They can't yeah, see. she's doing it. Claudia's doing it down there in my iPad, which is a horrible <laughs> angle for me. Thank God I can't see. Anyway. <laughs> We finished. <laughs> Colette um, says, yo, 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 Joan. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo. Cindy Coleman says, hi there. Leslie hi, Williams Cindy. says, hi. Hi, Leslie. Christine Cole says, hi, Claudia and Joan. Hi, Christine. Uh, Rebecca Murray says, hello. Kim Snow says, hi, hi Joan. Rebecca. Hi, Kim. Uh, Jane Haraza says, good morning from Honolulu, everyone. She says, congratulations on the new edition, Claudia. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. Hi, Jane. Yeah, Claudia got a new job. New job. <laughs> she got a new job with the new dog, people. I'm a new mommy. Story. Yeah. Um, Jeanette Johansson says hello. Hello. Deb Star says Deb Star here. Hi, Deb Star. Hi. Very, uh, Rebecca Murray says very good morning to you. <laughs> Chris Ogden says lol. Uh, oh, Tanya we're so Hoffe. excited, Chris. And so Tanya Hoffe also is joining the big program. Woo! Woo! Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah so Chris excited. She's very excited too. I know, I'm so excited. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Okay, so everybody's like cheering for Chris and now Tanya, so yay. Yeah, it's so exciting. So Chris is, is in the Energy Healing for Animals home study course right now, and so we'll start with the Animal Communication Level 1 in the fall. And Tanya is uh, just finishing up Animal Communication Level 1 and will be in the uh, starting the medical intuition in September in the advanced animal communication and then moving into the everybody will be together at the uh, intensive and anyway all kinds of big fun to be had oh, so oh, I love that October intensive so much I like I just oh my god I can't wait yeah and can everybody hear Claudia well that's my next question is is our sound good because we have a mic between us um, and I could bring Claudia closer if we need to. And well, I can't see a thing. Okay. Um, so really quick, John, while they're just uh, saying whether or not they can hear me. Uh, yes, they can hear me. 
Uh, Jennifer Kurtz Kolokoff says, "Good morning, first time here. Thank you. Welcome, oh, Jennifer. Welcome, Jennifer. And I want—I was going to just about before Claudia um, said something. I was just about to do my introduction because I know there are some people that are new to me. There's lots of new people joining the group. Um, so if you're new to me, my name is Joan Ranquet. I'm an animal communicator, author, healer, TEDx speaker, and founder of Communication with All Life University." And the school is, um, it's got three parts. There's animal communication, energy healing, and then I've been working on and building out for the last four years, and I'm just about to go live in a couple months with a piece that I've been working on for years uh, of nature and wildlife. So, um, very excited. Actually, my whole, and I completed a bunch of stuff on writing that, and so, my reward to myself is to finish the book. So if you saw my space right now, it's all storyboarding. It's, there's a beautiful backdrop, but storyboarding a bunch of uh, a book and then the, the thing that will be going live here soon that I've been working on forever. Anyway, um, and I just, I wanna talk about my mission because I think it's really important, especially with uh, people joining the big program and, and people coming here for the first time. Um, my, I always say my mission, and if you saw on my wall over there, I've got the old version that I had written out. And so my mission is to empower others to deeply connect with all life so that together we give voice to those who can't speak for themselves and ultimately heal the planet. Um, so it's doing it together. So I always see you as part of my mission and I hope I'm part of your mission and so I, I just want to always put that in the foreground because um, well I'll just say this I know there are a lot of people out there that really want to be animal communicators and as you know it's a really long road I mean it's not something that you can take a weekend class or a six-week course or a 12-week course and suddenly be an animal communicator I mean you can do it but okay you can see that my puppy sees a cat. I have the best angle right now. <laughs> yeah. A cat is doing something it shouldn't. But, oh, I see. Oh, we've got leaping cats. Wow. Acrobatics. I'm sorry you can't see, but I can do a commentary. He leaped <laughs> from the top of the bookshelf. <laughs> anyway, um, it's quite a day. So, but keeping your mission in 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 the foreground is always so important because you know for example what I told you I've been working on I I had a certain part of the the school that I had written in 2008 2009 that's still what a lot of you have that have taken a, a home study course and I update it all the time believe me anally because I was waiting for the new website waiting for the new website. So what do I go in? I pick at things. So, but for me, like having everything up and done, it's been since 2014, you know? So some things aren't quick. Um, it took six years from the moment I wrote on a post-it note uh, that I would get my first book published by Hay House. I put it in a post-it note, put it in a drawer in 1998, and they didn't find me until 2004. I think they're really slow. But what I've gotten, and I told Louise Hay that before she died. I just let her know that you guys are slow. She's like, I think you're slow. Um, but anyway, the point is, sometimes things take a while. They take a while to cook. And um, the one thing I always do is still stay in prayer, in meditation, keep visualizing. I, um, I don't ever back down from any of that. And then I also continue to learn and absorb and, and do what I can. And uh, one of the reasons that, yeah, I'm really proud of this program is because it is so full and rich. And, um, you know, Tanya entered at one angle, Chris entered at another angle, and all roads lead to the same thing, you know, to, to getting this full experience. And anyway, I just want to say that even from like rewriting and, and putting final polish on some stuff, literally it's, it's taken me forever to get it up and out, but 
it's up and out. And then in the meantime, I was working on a book, and now I get to just focus on the book. So when we really want something, so my mission statement encompasses all of that, right? It encompasses being an animal communicator, it encompasses writing books, it encompasses being um, a school, it encompasses taking people on wildlife trips, which Kim has, we've gone to Africa together. Um, so it encompasses all those things. So you really want your mission to have the kind of macro and the, the micro and the macro version of what it is you want to do because you're always going to expand and um, so the mission statement should allow, should be specific enough that you do what you do but expansive enough that you can go, when you ride dressage we always say go large, we're going into the large part of the arena off a circle. So it's like you're doing your little circle and dressage and you're going to go large. And that's what a mission statement should embody. And I think of um, you guys as so much a part of my mission and I'm always so grateful and I really, I love doing Tuesday mornings. It's, it's my give back, really. And then um, I, you know, I love seeing the growth and I love that people have come to this and then it, they expand. And we had Jane here last year at the October intensive. So all of it is, you know, we're all part of each other's lives and especially, oh my God, our, I mean, we may be even going into a longer lockdown. So here we are, we're lucky, we, we're so lucky. I feel grateful, lucky and blessed to have technology right now because this is it. So we can stay in each other's m mission, we can hold each other up, we can keep moving forward and I'm just really excited about who's moving forward with us. So that's it. That's it. That was a really long introduction. But, um, but it was very, it was a good, yes. Yeah, okay. we just have to be reminded every now and then why we're doing what we're doing. Because there are days, let me tell you, and this is why my program is two years long, 14 months whatever it is, 18, I don't even know how long it is, it's long. Um, my point is... It takes two years to complete it. It takes two years to complete it with all your case studies. That's right. Um, and all the energy healing to case studies and all of it. Um, you have days that you are not feeling like you ever want to do it. Um, we have... Ellie in the Gentle Barn in our Energy Healing for Animals class. And um, I know I'm going to be going over to the Gentle Barn and doing some lives with her this week. But, you know, she's had an enormous amount of losses. And she's joining the big program. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so Ellie will be in the same class as Chris because Tanya will be spring 2020, but Chris and Ellie will be fall 2020. Anyway, um, you know, you see, you see like someone like her who's been doing this forever and it's just like you can become absolutely bereft and not want to get up in the morning. Or even like last week, last week I had a five, so I teach where I'm organizing the 11 and 5 Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday classes. Then in between a couple Wednesdays and Thursdays, I usually do a few clients. So one of those days, the, the baby cow died at the gentle barn out of nowhere. And of course, she didn't announce it until the next day, but I get a text, I get off my calls. I had already sat here and done a woman connected with a, a cat who had been killed by the family dogs. And you know what I mean? like. You have these days sometimes where it's just boom, 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 thing after thing after thing after thing. And you really have to be strong and you really have to remember your mission. And it, it, that's what connects you back up to, you know, some of us were like, oh, I didn't want to be a vet because I didn't want to put animals down. Well, this is not without heartbreak, you know. I mean, even Chris is a groomer. I'm sure you lose clients and you're just bereft. and. You know, they're little beings that you've connected with and you've helped and you've been of service to for a long time. So we have, um, you know, we still have a lot of heartbreak or 
we have people that, um, yeah, there are a lot of things that get in the way of what we want to do. And so having this tribe and connecting up by mission is hugely, hugely important. And we may have to do another like hashtag mission thing going on in the Facebook Live just to, to remind each other of why we're here and what we're doing. Um, so that's, um, that's what, that's it. I can go now. I'm kidding. I'm going to do a reading or two. Um, has okay. anybody commented? Yeah, so I, I've, I refreshed and got a bunch of comments in again. So um, I'm going to start back at the top. Uh, Hannah Tomkova says, hello from Prague, Czech Republic. Hello. hello. Welcome. I've been to um, Prague and I loved it. I've got some of the most beautiful pictures of, it was the last trip my mom and I did. We did a lot of trips and um, right before she died, I thought she was dying and I said, well, what should we do? Thinking, do we want hospice? And she pulled out a brochure and she said, no, I want to go to Central Europe. So I, one of my favorite memories is of my mom in Prague. Oh, that's, I, I saw those pictures, they're pretty awesome. Um, okay, and then uh, Shannon Meyer says, hola. Hola. Um, and she says, this is an amazing community. Cindy Gans Turner says, love this tribe. Um, and uh, Anna said, uh, says she's very happy she's very proud to be here mm. um so rebecca murray says i work at a rescue and yes death is part of animal life um and chris uh wilson says yes i've lost three in the last two months for mm. breaking home three clients mm -hmm. uh shannon meyer says too, so happy to have been connected to this work with joan and the community for over 10 years so much to learn oh yeah shannon was the original uh, shannon was the original claudia and I'm always saying, oh, Shannon, look, here's an acupressure class. And uh, and she's off doing her own thing anyway and telling me about stuff. So, yeah, it's the the learning. I, I always say that I, I attract the smart and funny people to me that are curious and adventurous and want to learn. And here you all are. Here we all are. Um, yeah, so Selena Brown says hello. Uh, Hi, Selena. Kim's Kim Snow says, you are so right, Joan. As you know, I have been on this journey a long time. Lots of starts and stops. I just need to keep going and trust the process. Thanks for all you do. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. So um, you want to do a couple of mini readings, you said? Mm-hmm. So do what I'm going to, can you just, if people can hear me, what I'm going to ask, if you would like to have Joan do a quick mini reading on your animal, please... In your post, in your comment, put the, the name of the animal, the age, and how long you've had him or her, and who, what other animals live in the home. And um, I think Lorraine is going to be a few minutes late. Is Lorraine here? Because I told her I would talk to her dog, and I don't know any. I don't know any I of the details. I don't see Lorraine. Okay. But that doesn't mean she's not here. All right, Lorraine. But, uh, Lorraine speak is up. here. Speak up, sister. Because yeah. Okay, so let's wait. I swear to God, I was going to ask you to read Bella, but that, yeah, I'll let everybody else go. <laughs> well, do you have, oh, you have your thing on for your posture. Yeah, I do. Is it working? It is. It's helped because I'm at my computer all day. I mean, it's it's not comfortable on my under my arms, but it's definitely helping the mid-back pain. I um, wear I one when I work. jump rope, but I don't, I don't. I should wear it here because I'm sitting at Zoom more than I've ever sat in my life. That's why I'm wearing it. Um, oh. I look like I'm wearing a kid's backpack, but that's okay. All right, so Rebel Middlestad, I hope I pronounced your name right, says, um, my 13 and a half year old dog, uh, C-E-I-L-I-D-H, oh, pronounced Kaylee, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, looks to be on her start of transitioning. She was recently diagnosed with CKD. I'd like to know if there's anything she needs for me, what I can do. Hold on, where did it go? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, and Kaylee's 13? I, she's 13. She's been with her for 12 and a half years, and they live with uh, two other dogs and a cat. What kind of dog?
lápis. So Kaylee seems like she's always just gone to the beat of her own drummer. Um, she feels like oh, such an amazing soul. Um, she feels like she's really funny and quirky, but also steadfast, really steady Eddie. Like you could count on her. Every now and then she might duck out and find somebody's garbage. But for the most part, she's been that, that that near and dear for you. Um, I have a sense that she was pretty wild in her youth. Um, and, I, and I feel like the way that she's going to go will be to her own, you know, will be her own way also. It won't go the way you think. Um, but I, um, and uh, I have a sense that she is, she's like, I could soldier on one minute and I can lap up all the attention the next minute. I mean, she feels like she's really, um, oh boy, there goes the posse. Um, hey, nope. Come on. Delilah, Delilah, come. Yeah, I heard a big truck go by, so I didn't mean to. I don't know, has, has um, Rebel written anything? Um, anyway. So I feel like Kaylee really goes between um, lapping up all of this attention and and soldiering on. I mean, there's times when I think that there's no rhyme or reason for when she's going to want to get up and do stuff with you and when she's just going to want to lay around. Um, and I think that is in alignment with who she's been, um, who she is on this planet right now. If I feel like there's... Th th also, so it's like there's a fine line, like she doesn't want people feeling sorry for her, yet she loves you laying around with her. And I feel like one of the other dogs has gotten a little obnoxious. Um, I don't know if there are more activities that the other dog is doing. So I feel like there's just a, a fine line of letting her be part of everything as if everything's normal and having those really deep and profound moments with her. So that, that's the only thing I think she needs is for not to be a lot of attention around her on the one hand, but her having intimate time with you, if that makes sense. Let's see if she's commented. So we'll wait for her to comment. Um, so I have someone asking if we could read her friend's cats. You know, if your friend isn't here, here's the thing with my school. I, I would love to help. And um, the challenge is, without your friend's permission, without your friend being here, I don't ever feel comfortable doing that. And, and my students, if I did that, my students would all, like, there'd be a mutiny. Um, because I always tell them that they have to have permission and it has to be an ethical exchange. So I would love to help if maybe you could get your friend here or if you want, if your friend eventually wants case studies, uh, I mean, we have case studies. Maybe Claudia can write to write in there like what they would do, write to customer care. And eventually yeah. one of my, or if, if your friend does want it and she can't jump on right now. Um, okay, so that, 
I'm refreshing because apparently these are all coming in clumps. Uh, and like I said, I would oh, love. Oh, she says. She says I asked my friend's permission before asking you. Okay. All right. Have we heard about Kaylee at yes. all? Yes. Yes. Okay. So she says I was waiting to hear it all. She does do her own thing, but follows me around constantly. We are buzz. I think the cat is the obnoxious one. <laughs> Thank you. It totally does make sense. I think she makes totally does make sense. Okay. What um, I wanted to say, and I just thought, oh my God, I don't, you know, if I were looking at you, I would have a read as to this, but I feel like the first thing, the first thing she said is I'm not dead yet. Like it was really about don't, I don't want to be treated like I'm dying. And, and that was, I think the most important thing. And like I said, at the end, she really went off about that, that intimate time. And, and she said, uh, Kaylee took over the lead position when I lost another full lab in 2011. She's actually a happy girl, but is also shy. Oh, and Lorraine is here, too. Okay, okay. good. So let's go back. So Jennifer Kurtz, Kolokoff, who's the one who asked about her friend's cats. Okay. Um, Thank you. Uh, Kay I love Kaylee, by the way. I, she just really feels amazing. Okay. Okay. She sounds like... Like a dog that you would get along with really well. Yeah, she sounds like somebody that would live here and would like kind of mitigate the border collie energy. Okay, um, she said, okay, so she wants to do it for her friend who she has permission from. She's taken in a stray cat who has been with her since middle February. She also has another cat for four years. The stray Willow has a lot of aggression issues and is really not getting along with the original cat. And my friend is at the end of her rope. I'm an energy worker and have worked with Willow for like four times minimal progress. Original cat is Cubby. He's a male. She can, uh, Willow can also be aggressive with people, but not always. Okay. What is the friend's name? Let's wait and see if she replies. Let's wait and see. Jody Marie. You know, I, I feel like, um, so my sense is that, um, My sense is Willow is one of those that, I mean, she defines cat, right? Like she is the, if you looked at cat in the dictionary, it's like, this is on my terms and my terms only. So I feel like there's a very sweet side to her. There's a very loving side to her, but it's at a distance and it's on her terms only. I also feel like, um, I feel like there has been a tooth infection and or, um, yeah, and I think there may have been an abscess in her mouth. There's something going on in her mouth and there was something going on in her throat. Um, I feel like there's, I didn't, you know, obviously I don't have enough time to really drill in, but there's, there is something going on physically. and. And she liked the distance thing, like I could be astray and my life was fine. I, I, I don't mind being in a house, but I'd like to come and go. I feel like she says that she still doesn't know about this. She thinks that um, Jody's, Jody, what is it? Jody what? Jody, Jody Marie. Marie. Jody Marie. Yeah, Jody Marie. 
is a little too nice. Um, I think she's been used to people that are a little edgier. And so um, she almost, you know, is crappy and then recoils and feels badly about it. I don't think she feels that bad. But Willow definitely has a sharper energy than Jody Marie does. Or the cat, is it Cubby? And, yeah, Cubby the male cat. Yeah, and Cubby, I mean, the two of them were just two peas in a pod. And I feel like Willow feels like she stands out. She wants her own space. And um, I feel like it's very hard for her that there have been things that have gone on in her mouth, ongoing, and that, um, like, a cat coming too close to her is no bueno. And be, because she just doesn't feel good. And I feel like there's something the whole left side, I don't know, like ear, even all these vertebrae back here. So I feel like there's, it makes me want to do this for a minute, just stretch. So I feel like there's, um, that's going to be a tough call uh, as far as getting some work on her. Um, I know that I have a video, but it's from a, the acupressure class where I burrito a cat, Queen Latifah. And uh, it's, you know, if you could get in that neck and jaw. The other thing is one trick that I know with stray cats or cats that you want to kill an infection with, but you can't mess with too much is colloidal silver. And um, certainly I'm sure you have some on hand, but if you don't, we always have it with dynamite. And anyway. That's that's it. I think there's something definitely going on, and it, maybe it's not as prominent this minute, but it has. And so the idea that another cat coming too close and even being in the same space is off the charts. So maybe you could clear a lot of that energy, uh, the layers of energy of protection that that cat has had to have in order to survive. That's my sense, is that there's just wall after wall after wall after wall after wall and it it's going to take some unwinding and maybe even some tapping so that's that's that but i mean underneath it all i think it'll be rewarding and i'm sure jody marie's at her wits end because it feels like she's probably one of the kindest people on the planet and then she's got the kindest cat, and then it looks like she's got a witch, you know? But Willa doesn't mean to be a witch, it's just circumstantial. So that's that. Okay. So we'll wait on her reply. Um, and then Rebel says, excellent Joan, uh, talking about her dog Kaylee. I've been worried about sending the wrong messages. Thank you, I love her as well. She is sweet, does have a sense of humor. Kaylee used to be the fastest, happiest dog at the park. That's so, yeah. And, and she said I did pronounce her name properly. Okay, yay. Um, okay, so I am not meaning to skip. I just want to be very clear. When messages pop up, older ones, like, disappear. So I'm trying to, like, go in order. So I have to scroll back. Okay, verbal. Um, Joan, it's 1040. Do we have time for one more reading? Lorraine. We told Lorraine. Lorraine. Yes, Lorraine Bollinger. Where'd you go? I have her information. Hold on. Her dog. The perfect subject. Um, where did it go? Okay. I don't know where the information on the dog went, but okay. Lauren, can you give us... Yeah, and tell me which one it is. You've got two dogs, I know, and which you know which one is which and um, anyway so in the meantime um, I'm gonna it's Bonnie the dog's name is Bonnie Lorraine uh, age and how long she's been with you and the other dog's name so um, we have the fall intensive and I just for those that did the spring intensive and did it online virtually if you could just type in like that it was still fun even though it was odd to not be together it still was very intimate I want to encourage people that if you want to do this, the fall intensive, I doubt anybody's coming here. If, if people are, that'll be great, but it, there will still be a giant online component. And then we have the fall um, animal communication starting, I think, around October 20th. 
and you can get all the material for that now. Um, all the online content, it's about three months worth. And then the energy healing for animals home study course starts, I think, November 5th, whatever that Thursday is. So we've got lots of classes coming up in the fall, and I know it's weird to think about. It's only the, like, 21st of, is today the 20th or the 21st? It's somewhere in July. But you know what? It's October is going to be here, like, in, whoop, 15 seconds. Okay. It's crazy. Yes. Okay. So, Lori, <clears throat> she says his dog's name is Bonnie. She stresses out in the car. She's almost four. Lauren's had her since she was five months old. And the other dog is Reggie, who's 14 years old. Oh my god, it's a road runner. Stop it, you guys. Come on. Hey, stop. Delilah. There's a road runner running through the yard. Hey, right now. Good girl, Abby. Leave it. Delilah. Okay, um, so the one thing I get from Bonnie is that she repeatedly said, I am the perfect dog. I am the perfect dog. I am the perfect dog. So I just kind of wonder, Lorraine, if you don't tell her all the time she's the perfect dog, because it just feels like she is just, she can do anything. If you wanted to do agility, she would do it. If you wanted to go to the park, she would do it. Like, there's so many things about her that are absolutely perfect. And I feel like also, she loves to be where she is once she gets there. My sense is that it really is a, a matter of motion sickness and I feel like her stomach gets very upset. I feel like she starts salivating and she realizes that something's going on. She almost, because she is the perfect dog, she almost feels like she could have diarrhea and she would never want to do that in the car. And so it, it's, um, it's, it's a physical thing. I know that you're with Dynamite, so I would say that if you know you're going to go somewhere that day, you might, you know, you might try the Miracle Clay and Dynapro. I mean, we can get on the phone and come up with a combo, but I think I, I would, I would say that it started out as a physical thing, becomes a uh, sort of thing. I know, now all the dogs come over when I start panting. Um, so, when, um, when she starts, so she whips up into more anxiety, like uh, emotional anxiety, but it, it, its origin was physical. So I would start with the inside out approach and go from there. Um, I hope that helps. And the other thing is uh, we can certainly get you, um, well, you're in the tapping. You're, who's your, ta your tapping partner is Cindy. So maybe, because see, I have everybody's part, homework partners memorized, but you know, you and Cindy might really uh, approach that from the imagine, so Cindy's on here, imagine tapping from the standpoint of the very first time you had a tummy ache and you thought you were gonna lose your bowels in the car and you're the perfect dog. That's where I would start with that tapping script. There you go. Um, waiting on Lauren to comment. Um, in the meantime, um, you have to get ready to teach class. It's 10.47. Am I teaching today? I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm not teaching today. 
<laughs> okay, so we, okay. But uh, what, did we hear she, back from Jennifer? Uh, she said, okay, here it is. I'm so sorry, the video started buffering and then I lost you. I missed the end of what you said, but I will watch the replay. Thank you so, so much for the reading and your help. Okay, yeah. What, what I said is, is that I think that you've got layers. I, there's something going on physically all the way from the mouth to the neck. And it could be if there was an old abscess, she just held her face in a funny way. But there's a major protection, layers and layers and layers of protection to unwind due to something interesting that both of those are due to something physical. Um, so that's that. Okay. Anyone, any other questions, comments, observations? We have a lot of people wanting readings, um, but Next we're, week we're, we have a guest, and I don't know the first week. So I'll be on for the first two weeks of August, and then I'm, I might disappear, although I might pop in here. But I have some stuff planned for you guys, which is really fun. Um, and But maybe in two weeks from today we could do some readings. Um, yeah, we can, we can we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll pop on another day, one day, and just do readings. But in the meantime... Um, we've got really fun classes coming up, and like I said, if the people that have um, come to the spring intensive online in a virtual way, maybe you could share what the fall intensive, the, how intimate it was to be on Zoom with 30 people, 40 people. Um, and we, so the, the, the fall intensive is animal communication for three days, a little bit of me medical intuition. Um, the death and dying and then the energy healing for animals and i'm working on the uh death and dying animals in transition uh death and dying volume is volume one and volume two is in the afterlife so i will be on fire with that class um which i'm very excited about so uh and two years ago we started the documentary so I'm getting someone to come work on footage so between the footage of the documentary and the book, by then the proposal will be in and hopefully I'll have a deal with someone. So it's a very good, it's a very good death and dying time, um, but it's a very good time to do the class because it's my focus. It's my focus now that I'm not focused on completing the school stuff. So anyway. Okay, so really quick before we go, uh, Lorraine Bollinger says, yes, I tell both dogs that they're perfect all the time. Reggie needed to hear it more, so I tell him that all the time. So she's reminding me. Thank you. Good verification for working with Cindy. Yeah, and you know what? It's so funny because it's like she even sits perfectly, and there's a pose, and I'm perfect. <laughs> I mean, it was so like, I am a perfect dog. I'm a perfect dog. I'm a perfect dog. So... I think you're gonna have to put her picture in the in the. It would be fun for all of you actually to share pictures in the um, yeah, in this post. Yeah, we were doing so, that before. Yeah, share the pictures of the animals that we just connected with, because I think everybody's gonna just send. Oh yes, Bonnie, you are the perfect dog. Right back to her. So there you go. Thank you, thank you thank everybody. You yeah, thank you for coming and don't forget. To put your mission, we're going to do the mission statement. I think it's good to just reconnect with our mission. Reconnect yes. with our mission. And know that if we're in another lockdown or shit gets weird, we've got each other. You just said shit online. I did. You just said shit online. <laughs> now we're in. Anyway, Bye, everybody. thank you. Bye.